Welcome back, my awesome people, to Legally Right. And of course, we were talking about matter succession. And um, it is quite a big topic. And there is a word that you said, an administrator. So in the process of a succession, so what is the work of an administrator? <clears throat> I think uh, you've captured it quite right that uh, we cannot do justice to the topic of succession with the, <laughs> with the time that, uh, that we have. It's quite a lengthy issue and uh, quite, a, uh, uh, quite a number of moving components uh, in it. But back to your topic of, an, uh, of who an administrator is, as I had initially mentioned, that that is a person who, who consolidates basically the estate. Uh, a distinction should be drawn is in that that administrator, uh, administrator has not been, you know, has not been bequeathed any, any of the property. So they should not uh, dispose or otherwise intermeddle or rather appropriate, you know, the the assets of the the, the deceased, mm -hmm. and and their work is purely to oversee and consolidate and uh, and ensure that proper accounts are are maintained in so far as the estate is concerned. So that the, their role is limited to that. Mm -hmm. They are uh, they are in, entitled to inherit also in the in the estate. Uh -huh. I think I, I think one one thing that I, I should mention is that uh, the law uh, tries to, uh, uh, tries to protect uh, an estate where, where there are minors, you know, and by uh, by providing or rather prescribing that at least two or more persons should be administrators in an estate where there are minors involved. Uh -huh. But if uh, all uh, all the the beneficiaries to the estate are adults then one, one administrator is sufficient. So in other words, they have a say, but it is limited. Yes, and uh, it, is only limi it is limited to the extent of uh, consolidating the estate. Mm -hmm. yes. When you're talking about the death of a person, we have seen it so much on the TV, on news, and very many public uh, in the media and all about the, the issue of burial and stopping burial process by one family member and another. What, what importance is there, really? Well, um, there's a belief by the, by the society that uh, the person who enters you know, the, the body of the deceased has, uh, has a superior stake mm -hmm. in, uh, in the administration of the estate. However, I think that is uh, is not factual. It's a fallacy. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I think, uh, irrespective of where one is buried, mm -hmm. you know, you, uh, everybody is, is is treated equally. True. I think uh, it's a, a bit unfair, especially, and I think uh, there is uh, there was le uh, legislation or attempt le uh, attempts were being made to, you know, uh, to try to stem this. Uh, this uh, stoppage of uh, mm. of, of barriers, I, I think it uh, occasions quite uh, quite a and strain. <laughs> yes, uh, on the, on the, on the members. Yes, yes. So I think, uh, really, I think the the, the community should uh, uh, at least uh, you know uh, move Understand. away or rather depart from that uh, that notion that uh, if you enter the body. You know, you are, and I, and I think uh, treat each, each one equally. Mm -hmm, sure. And uh, Wakile, there's this issue where you get um, uh, relatives, they sometimes deny kids to inherit their parents, um, whatever they've left behind. More so, uh, maybe they've left be behind kids who are not of age. So they take that advantage and grab everything. So what happens in such a scenario? Well, I, I think uh, it's a bit an, of an unfortunate uh, incident, uh, instance. You know, I think uh, the law prescribes, uh, I think I would wish to use the legal term, it's called order of consanguinity. Mm -hmm. The order of consanguinity is how close you are related to, to the deceased. Mm -hmm. And the first priority is given to, you know, the immediate family members, you know, before even other persons are involved, you know, the at least the estate should go to the immediate family members. Mm -hmm. So when, when an, a far off person or other relative comes and intermeddles uh, in the estate, you know, two causes of actions uh, 
arise you can uh, that is a criminal offense intermeddling is a criminal offense you know and um, and also you know you can uh, you can have that person uh, you know uh, be compelled by the court you know to return the the the, the assets you know that they have intermeddled with so <clears throat> first priority i think it should be the children uh, mm -hmm. or rather the you know the family the immediate family members before even other relatives uh, come uh, come in place but i think you know uh, that is a trend that was there you know when uh, uh, you know in the yester years mm -hmm. you know where women were not supposed to inherit and you know uh, stuff like that you know but currently you know those things are not entertained but wakili i think they are still there mostly with kids let alone uh, the women kids who are not of age and relatives will come and do that of course you can go to the courts and do that but what happens this is a kid who knows nothing totally nothing so yeah yeah labda anajua tu his whatever is happening hana choice itabidi aende kuingine ama atafute venye kutaenda if he grows of age hapo ndipo anaweza kufika kotini aitishe ama what will really happen when this person has no one uh, to take care of him or her um as you said if you come of age and you realize there was something that was not not done right mm. there's still records available to you yes i, I don't think uh, there is limitation of action uh, especially when as when you are talking about issues of fraud because for you to intermeddle with the property it means that there is something that you do that is not proper because if you use the proper channel mm -hmm. uh, those children that you've mentioned will not in any way be left uh, unconsidered so that would mean if they they have taken the property that that is uh, that is uh, is an offense there, there was definitely fraud that 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 took place there mm -hmm. and and the courts are ready to check that kind of behavior uh, anytime they are called upon to do so for example maybe one member of the public or a viewer has a situation whereby the the spouse has died and uh, he had a loan maybe with a bank and uh, unfortunately they've not been able to settle the loan what recourse do they have in such a situation well that is a uh quite a good question i think uh, from practice i've seen that uh, when uh, when 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 you are taking a loan you take a policy mm -hmm. a, a life policy on the loan mm -hmm. so when uh, when uh, when a person dies and they were the the person's responsible you know for that loan and yeah. all that sometimes most of them are not mm -hmm. you know um uh, the, pol the insurance policy will will kick in, and, 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 and person, the, the person will will, will be the, the assets, you know, will be discharged. But again, if that does not happen, you know, it should be taken into account when uh, the distribution of the estate is being done. Mm -hmm. You make sure that all liabilities uh, yeah. that the family, the, the estate owes, you know, are settled before you even come to to distribution among the yourself. assets. Yes, okay. yes. Uh -huh. There's this issue about uh, nimesikia kitaja uh, kushtaki kaburi. It's something I've had and I am asking for me and a thousand others <laughs> out there. Please enlighten us. Well, for me, I think um, the two words uh, are in reference to the entire succession process. You know, and uh, when, when somebody says kushtaki kifo, for, for me, what I would uh, take it is that uh, that person wishes to, to pursue the succession process. Mm -hmm. And the succession process, as I had just uh, mentioned, is the is the is the proof of uh, you know your dependency and subsequent uh, di distribution of the estate. So that is the channel that I think is referred colloquially as kustaki uh, kifu or kustaki kaburi. In an instance where, for example, a person has died and maybe they do not have much, as I said, I don't have much. <laughs> you don't have much that would render you to go to the courts. For example, you have maybe 50,000, maybe in an account or something. What would the family do, or what is the best option for them? When, when, when a person dies, uh, generally speaking, you know, um, I, oh, okay, maybe just, let me just head straight to that question and then, and say that uh, the county commissioners or, or and 
and uh, the former DCs, mm -hmm. you know, are, uh, are, in, are closed with powers mm -hmm. to deal with succession matters, especially where the, the value of the estate, I think, does not exceed 100,000. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, they, are, uh, they have jurisdiction to entertain mm -hmm. such, uh, such, uh, matters. Yes, such matters and succession processes. Mm -hmm. So I think that is the proper avenue if, uh, you, uh, if your estate is not more than 100,000. But beyond mm -hmm. that, you know, the proper forum is through the courts. Mm -hmm. So what happens when someone dies <clears throat> and this someone um, lives behind a land that maybe still has a court case? It has issues in the court and all that. So what happens to the, uh, those who are left behind? What are they supposed to do in such a scenario? There is this person that I mentioned initially that is known as the administrator. Mm -hmm. And the, the administrator is basically to consolidate the, uh, the, the, the assets and of the estate and deal with such matters as uh, the pending litigation. Mm -hmm. You see, so the administrator, you know, takes over and uh, goes ahead to defend and also prosecute if the cause of action survives the deceased. Mm -hmm. Cause of action, I mean, uh, the case that was there. <laughs> And in instances where, for example, there is a criminal case against a deceased person, what happens? Does the administrator take over or what happens? Um, in criminal cases, I think uh, because uh, it's a personal liability kind of issue, I think the cause of action does not survive the deceased. So once uh, the accused person is deceased, I think also the cause of action dies with him. Mm -hmm. so, um, when, uh, when you have compiled all the assets, you have the evidence of the document. So I think another document that you need to obtain is the letter from the area chief. Mm -hmm. your, area chief uh, your area chief indicates all the beneficiaries of the estate of the deceased. And that, with that letter, you know, you, you petition the court. You can do that either personally or through an advocate. Mm -hmm. And uh, you basically petition the court for that person to be to be uh, to be named as the administrator of the estate, and and the process is quite elaborate. I think I cannot be able to do justice mm -hmm. in the, to the entire uh, process of uh, administration at mm. this point, particular point in time. Mm -hmm. But the end result of petitioning the court is for that administrator to you know to be appointed. You cannot be an administrator mm. without being appointed. You cannot. Uh, say mumekubaliana kinyubani without you know having the court's approval mm -hmm. yes so wakili toka tuanze tumongelea kuhusu succession and uh, inheritance is there a difference between the two i think uh, they are more or less speaking about the same issue mm -hmm. and it's basically passing off assets from uh, uh, the deceased or rather from a uh, from a person who has since Passed on. passed on now to other persons who are now living. So I think they are related. About, uh, Even uh, a will. The will now is, uh, is a little bit different. It's also part of the succession and inheritance. Uh, you know all that. Just part of it, and you know the, the will is just an uh, an avenue of uh, of the inheritance process. Process, but generally speaking, it's uh, more or less you know same subject. Uh -huh. So if I have a succession uh, certificate, do I need a will? Or I, I, I will frame my, my view will be if you uh, you have a if you have a will, you will still have to go to court and prove that will. So, and the end result is, uh, is an instrument known, known as uh, the grant, you know, confirmed grant that sets out the yes and then with wills and all that. So. Yes, that is the end result. So, <clears throat> the will with the will, you also pursue the, the, the process of probate, mm -hmm. and the probate is proving the will. Yes, and that is the inherit. Uh, that is the succession process that we have, uh, we, she has uh, mentioned. And lastly, um, when we are dealing with succession, what happens in the event maybe the administrator passes on? Well, the process has not been completed. That uh, I think it is uh, it's something that is quite often uh, seen mm -hmm. because uh, you'll, you'll notice that succession is usually done by quite elderly people. Mm. 
but when such an incident happens you know you can always substitute the administrator yeah. mm -hmm. and you can, or rather you can still also begin the process of uh, succession afresh okay. yes, yes, yes. if there was uh, one, there were more than one administrator you can always substitute so uh, wakili what can you tell our viewer who is at home watching you and uh, listening to you speak about succession and all this what is that last word that you want them to hear about succession I think uh, we should come to terms with our mortality. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are not going to live forever. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it is important to take care of, uh, of your legacy and uh, by ensuring that you do not stop divisions and you do not cause uh, conflict you know, amongst the family members by simply putting things right. And I think uh, that way is by expressing yourself by by a will. I think that that is the the proper proper forum for me. Mm -hmm. You know, as a parting shot. Uh, <laughs> I think let's embrace our mortality. Kuli <laughs> kabisa, <laughs> let's embrace our mortality. When I say makomba kifo hakipigi hodina, it comes like uneza kuwa ukosawa kabisa and then you're gone. So let's put matters into consideration, like um, if you have your property or anything, consider what our Wakili has been telling us. And with that, I don't have much to say. My name is Purity Nabukaki. And mine is Beatrice Mahindi.